There's a fish tank here too. Look at this thing. Take your guess at how much this reel costs. Uh, you know, I, I don't think you're gonna believe it. Dude, what have we found what today? All right, so recap. Oh, there's a gator right next to me. Oh no. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys, what do I do? I gotta get out of here. Guys, there's a gator literally a couple feet away from me. My lure's right above his head. Oh no, their lure's wrapped. Oh my gosh. What's going on? Welcome to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment days popping up down below. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment day. Guys, we've been getting like a thousand subscribers a day right now. Thank you guys so much. Keep on hitting that subscribe button for me, please. But guys, today we got my boy fishing with Yak Pack here. And dude, I'm super excited. I did one of these videos like two years ago, probably exactly two years ago, and it was a Goodwill fishing challenge. For those of you guys who don't know what Goodwill is, basically people donate anything here. It could be fishing gear, it could be clothes. My wife donates literally, literally all the time. Yeah, literally you could donate anything to Goodwill and then you get it for a really 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 cheap price so we're doing a budget fishing challenge today at Goodwill right over here and I'm hoping that they have some fishing gear and that we can get it for a really really cheap price I'm gonna try to put like a $25 cap on it maybe a $50 cap and we'll see what they actually have in here also guys whatever we find in Goodwill I'm giving away to you guys we're gonna do that later in the video so make sure you guys stay tuned for that because whatever we find here is fixing to be good and as soon as we hit 3621 likes on this video we will give it away to you guys so anyways, Jack Pack, are you ready? Let's do it, Dude. bro! Oh my gosh, Goodwill. I've been wanting to do this video for so long, guys. I just wanted a buddy to do it with me. Thank you, Yak Pack, for coming. Make sure, oh my gosh. <laughs> do you know if you guys have any like fishing stuff anywhere in Goodwill at all? Yes, it's some outside in the bin. All right. Let's go. Outside we go. go. So guys, here's the outdoor Goodwill section. Who knew? that Goodwill even had like an outside section. It's actually raining. So great news is we got here just in time to save whatever fishing gear is actually in one of these bins. I will get so distracted in Goodwill. I'm telling you guys, let's see. I, I know it's in one of these bins, that's what she's saying. She didn't even know what it was. I was like, what type of fishing gear is there? And she's like, I think I saw like a fishing rod or something and we just got it in yesterday. So, I mean, wet, soaking wet keyboard definitely doesn't work anymore. You see anything in that one? No, this is like a, a singular. Oh, no. Nope, nothing. Guys, for real, in the next 20 minutes, there's gonna be like a huge rainstorm coming through, and we found one that has some fishing stuff in it. Look at this. For those of you guys who know, I remember seeing this cane pole in Walmart a while ago. I mean, they just got all the pieces laying around. I don't really know how this connects. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, so I was to grab another piece of the cane pole. Oh no, bro. We gotta fish it? with whatever we find here. I'm really not trying to fish with a kiddie pole. Actually, guys, let me know if you guys wanna see like a full on kiddie pole fishing challenge. I might have to try to catch a fish on this in this video. But this is the Cars kiddie pole challenge. Who would even get rid of this thing? Who would donate this? I, I know I would add this to my collection, but I'll, there's no price tag, not that I see. We're gonna have to ask her how much this thing is. Maybe we can get a good deal on the Cars yeah, kiddie caster. Yeah, like 20 bucks at Walmart? Yeah, or something, something like yeah. that, 20, 25 dollars. Yeah. So we'll see if we can save any money Heck on yeah. this. And I've fished with these before. <laughs> <laughs> they get your boy mad. <laughs> All right, so there's like, I definitely want to buy this cane pole. We got to think that we have a budget. There's a fish tank here too. Look at this thing. Dude, it is full of water. Oh I mean, I guess fish God. tanks are supposed to... Oh no, that's a rock. I thought it was a turtle. Ooh, I smell that from here. Here, show them real quick inside. Guys, let me know if you want to see like a Goodwill fish tank challenge. Because I could definitely go catch like a little creek fish and put it in something that I get from Goodwill. I think that'd be like a crazy Goodwill that fishing tank video. That'd, that'd be, be awesome. Insane. I'm going to put this back though. So we got our cane pole, our kitty pole, and this is like just the container that keeps on giving. <laughs> yeah. So, Yak Pack, I'm going to have you like try to get in here. I see the tip of a pole right here so is go ahead pulled, and grab that thing out for us pull out and it? see if it's a pull or if it's a rod and reel combo oh god <laughs> did i just break that that's got to be from like the early 80s dude i wish the reel was on it though yeah I mean, even the even the colorway like that that like yeah. tan and green that's old that's really old guys look at this rod right here we can definitely use this rod to catch fish and i wish dude that the reel was still on here maybe we'll find the rest of the reel on the bottom of this thing somewhere yeah uh, that's but epic. That, dude, what an awesome find. Yeah, this is definitely going to be catching us some fish today. We're out here getting dumped rain on, but at least we're finding all this stuff and we didn't find it tomorrow because it could be soaking water for a day and you guys know that isn't good for your fishing reels, your fishing gear, stuff like that. <laughs> is that a jack for a car? I think it is. <laughs> what? Somebody what? threw away a hundred like tools. That was all tools, and I'm so sorry for that. If you're watching this video and you work here, I'm sorry. Ah, you got the rest of that, because I ain't gonna be responsible for them tools. You got it, you got it. <laughs> oh, dude, look at this. It's stuck in the edge. There is a... Ooh. Oh, is it's, dude, it's actually connected to something. No. What is this? What, it's oh, like a, oh, 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 
Is that the other half? That is, that is, that's it. Yes, dude. Let's go. It's connected to like a beetle spin. Like, I, th I was thinking, logically, somebody would have donated that if it didn't have the rest of the reel, so it wouldn't make sense to use it. I don't think this thing is going to work, but we can try it. The lure's stuck What's in on there. Is that a, yeah, it's like a yeah, beetle it's a spin. Grub. Yeah, a little grub, yeah. All right, there we go. It's got the rest of the reel. And we're gonna attach this thing. Dude, what in the world, bro? A kitty pull, a cane pull, an old reel that isn't even connected together. We might be able to fix this thing and use it, guys. That's it. I mean, maybe, bro. I'm gonna keep on looking in here. Check it out, bro. The last time we came to Goodwill, we found eight bait casters. And I was getting worried we weren't gonna find any reels. Look at that, guys. A bait caster reel. We gotta look this one up. I don't know. It is a. K Nan. This might be a old <laughs> bait caster we just found, guys. The last time I was here, like two years ago, there was a whole box of them. There might still be a box in here. And we found like eight reels, and I ended up buying two for like five dollars each, and they ended up being like hundred and ten dollar reels. We might have just found a freaking epic, deal, bro. and we're gonna give it away to you guys. I'm hoping this thing. We gotta look this up on eBay right now. Yeah, let's get under the bed. Yeah, let's let's, yeah. let's go over here. <laughs> All that right. is epic. Oh like, my gosh. Dude, can you freaking believe bro, this? I don't, hey, whoever put that in that, like, whoever yeah. donated that. Yeah, dude, people not. donate the craziest stuff, too. This could have been, like, a wife that was angry at her husband. She's like, I'm taking your fish and hey, stuff to think, Goodwill. Hey, y'all think that don't happen. Yeah, I you promise you it's happened to, oh. it's happened to Yak Pack. <laughs> I promise you that. All right, guys, I just looked it up. Yak Pack. Take your guess at how much this reel costs. Uh, you know, I, I don't think you're going to believe it. The, oh, man. <laughs> it's Shimano. I'd have, yeah. to say, I'd have to say, like, 200 bucks. So it's not 200 but guys, look at this. Make sure they can see it. $99. $99? So here's my thing, dude. We don't have the price. We don't know how much they're asking for it at Goodwill. But I freaking got two reels for $5 last time. Guys, I'm pumped to get this new bait caster and give it away to you guys. If it's in our budget of like $25 to $50, I'm not trying to spend, you know, $100 on a $100 reel. I just get a brand new one. But if we can get a good deal on this thing. So we were like probably the first ones to come across this thing. And I'm hoping that she'll give us a good deal. Maybe she doesn't even know what this is. Um. <laughs> That is, that's this is like, crazy. You got me wanting to go to, to the Goodwills by my house now, yeah, like, yeah. ASAP. Um, that's epic. Dude. I think that's all in this one, dude. Honestly, we did kind of tear I mean, that one apart. <laughs> and I, I spilled all the tools, <laughs> bro. You know, there's more fishing stuff. I'm not even kidding. No way. <laughs> this is dumb. Are you serious? Are you kidding? So somebody's wife was big mad. I'm not kidding, bro. Look at that. No. <laughs> Dude, Dude, what the heck? Oh my, here, we're gonna set this down. Keep in mind, none of this stuff, because the outside has a price on it, she was like, yeah, just go out there. I don't think we're even allowed to really be out here, but she she was like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> so, um, these none of these have a price on them. I'm hoping we get these for a really, really, really good deal. But what are, I don't even know what this is. Vertical lures, tube things. What the heck? That might, that's gonna work, dude. I know spots where I can catch fish on this. This is freaking crazy. All right, and there's more, there's dude, more. There's more? That's not it, that's not it. That was that's not it, bro. Look at this. Yo, people are gonna think this is fake. I promise what? you guys, 100% legit. Like, I don't know why somebody would donate this stuff. I mean, props to you for donating this because now I'm gonna get some good use out of it. Thank yeah. you guys. That top is gonna be. Yo, my wife would have donated literally... that, no joke, because like, <laughs> see how the box is messed up? Yeah. She'd be like, yeah, that's trash. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it to Goodwill. Blue is yeah, perfectly that's... fine though, I mean. That's epic, dude. Oh my God. All right, we're just gonna grab everything out of here, guys. I'm not gonna do no, it one by more. one. There's more. <laughs> Zoom trick worms, everybody around here fishes with these things. I mean, this doesn't surprise me. Uh, spool tech, I mean, I think these things were hype and then people were getting rid of them, so. But we can still catch fish on that. And it looks like last thing in here is just some more like yum, like drop shot lures. Dude, what have we found what today? All right, so recap, because we're trying to keep this thing, let's say $50 budget. We have a $100 reel, probably, I don't know, what is it, like $25 worth of lures? Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and I'm... then I don't know how much these cane poles, this old rod and reel antique who knows how many 10 pounders have been caught on that 20 years ago and then we have this kitty caster <laughs> like what a just what an array of i love goodwill guys this is crazy so as you guys can tell the audio cut out here so i'm doing a little voiceover the reel ended up being 15 dollars instead of 100 that was super cool all the lures together were 10 dollars so we saved a lot of money on that and then each and every rod and reel combo was only $1.99. So I think in total we ended up spending $33. We're also running the giveaway in this video, guys. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. Also like this video. And this part's optional. Comment down below your coolest fishing find that you've ever had. And also, guys, subscribe to Yak Pack. Once you guys have done all those steps, you are entered to win the giveaway. And now it is time to go fishing. All right, guys, we are here at the pond. Actually, my friend, the dog, is swimming. 
in the middle of the pond right now. Awesome job, dude, keep it up. But guys, we have our five lures, our reel and our rod from Goodwill. I'm gonna show you guys really quick what we're fishing with today. So we went ahead and split up that brand new Shimano reel that we got with 14 pound fluorocarbon on here, guys. And for the Texas rig, what we're gonna be using is a 3 16 ounce bullet weight. We have a five odd EWG hook, and this rod is a seven four heavy fast action for those of you guys wondering. So that's gonna be what I'm mainly using today. And we have to throw the trick worms that we got. I opened up the bag of drop shot worms, but we have these drop shot lures here. These would be like great for either representing like a small worm or a bait fish. It does both really well, actually. We have the top water. This one's gonna be really tough today. We also have the spool tech, which I'm also not very confident in, but it's a really cool lure. I can't wait to take that out of the package and show you guys. All right, guys, here we go. We are starting with the tube. I think it's gonna be the hardest soft plastic to knock off the list. I know the tube is a very popular lure up north, but down here in the south, I never really hear anybody ever say, yeah, I'm gonna tie on the tube. <laughs> that just really doesn't happen. We use worms and stuff like that instead of tubes down here, but I don't see why this wouldn't work. And uh, we also have the dog out here joining us today. He's just swimming around in the pond. Oh. <laughs> so that's cool. Oh, oh, he ate it. Got him on the tube. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes. There we go. <laughs> Heck yeah, guys. I was swimming the tube. Came up and freaking munched it. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. Hey, pupper. It's a good one, too. Easy, like, pound and a quarter right there. On the Goodwill tubes. Let's go. All right. I know you're going to try to eat this thing because you did it last time we were here. So, all right. Watch out. Watch out. All right, guys. I'm just going to have to throw him and hope he doesn't catch him. All right. We're good. <laughs> the fish made it. He's safe. All right, let's go tie on a different lure. That was crazy. I just threw a cast parallel to the bank, and I saw him waking towards it, and I was like, yes. So for the soft plastics we have left, guys, we have these uh, little drop shot weights, and we also have the zoom trick worms. I think this is going to be the easiest one knockout right here, the zoom trick worms. And then we will move on to a little yum finesse bait, which I also think will not be too hard to accomplish. I'm just worried about that top water bait and also that swim bait. I'm worried about those two. And the thing I'm probably most worried about is that kitty fishing pole. Actually, I don't even know what I'm going to use yet on that thing. It is trick worm time. Same rig and everything on here with the hook, the weight and the line. Just switched it up from the tube to the old worm. Ooh, I just got thumped. Please. Got him. Got him. There we go. Nice. Nice. Guys, there we go. On the worm. <laughs> That's a freaking good one, too. Heck yeah. Whew. Hook pops right out, guys. Look at that. Nice little uh, pound and a half. Or, uh oh, the dog's coming. I'm going to let him go as soon as I possibly can. Here you go, buddy. Swim away, swim away, swim away. All right, we're good. We're good. Jeez, this dog is crazy. I gotta catch a fish and instantly let him go. But that knocks the old trick worm off the book for us here. He hit it way out there in the middle too, which uh, makes sense in the summer, guys. It's super hot outside right now. And when it gets super hot out, those fish like to go deep. So just remember that when you guys are out there fishing your spots. Take this worm off and we are going to use kill shots here. And I don't really drop shot too much just because I am from Florida. And in ponds around here, normally we don't drop shot. I know it's more of an up north technique. Ooh, was that him? Oh my gosh, guys, first cast on the drop shot? No way, that's the next cast after that one I caught on the trick worm. Don't eat it, don't eat it, dog, don't eat it. Oh my gosh, they're stacked out there. That's another good one. Guys, check that out, that is close to a two pounder right there. I might have to throw that lure a little bit more before I tie on the swim bait in the top water. Please, all right, all right. It was funny the first couple times, buddy, but I'm trying to let these fish go, all right. All right, TikTok. I just caught this fish, and this dog is trying to eat it. I'm trying to let it go. Just a random dog here at the pond. I'm gonna try throwing him out this way so he doesn't get ate. <laughs> All right, guys. We have the spool tech thing tied on now. This just crazy swim bait, and it's starting to rain, but that's not gonna stop me from completing this challenge. And honestly, it might help the moving bite and the top water bite as soon as we catch a fish on this thing. But this might take us a little bit. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, we got him. Guys, he's freaking, oh, I got him like all wrapped up. What the heck? Yes, on the swim bait, let's go. Yes, that knocks the swim bait off the list, guys. That's definitely, I don't know, probably, I don't know, pound and a half. Another really good one from out here. All right, no, no, sir. We're gonna let him go. All right, guys, I gotta, I gotta throw him. I don't want to, but if I don't, this dog will try to eat it. 
All right, guys, we have the last and final lure tied on here, the top water, before we go ahead and fish with that kitty rod. But this lure is a really, really big top water for a pond this size. Normally, I'd use this like when I'm out lake fishing. Oh, there's a gator right next to me. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys, what do I do? I gotta get out of here. Guys, there's a gator literally a couple feet away from me. My lure's right above his head. And he snuck up on me. I was looking the other way, fishing. Oh no, the lure's wrapped. Oh my gosh, he didn't even eat the lure. The line's wrapped around him. I'm just gonna get to safe land over here. Guys, the dog's right here. I'm cutting my lure off with my teeth. It is not safe. I'm not trying to reel in an alligator. I just cut him off. He snuck up behind me the opposite way I was fishing and took my topwater lure. Dang it. All right, guys, it is two hours later since I've had my last bite, which is actually that alligator hitting top water. I tried, guys, for two hours with this kiddie pole, and the main problem here at this lake is I can't cast it far enough to get to where the fish are actually hanging out in that deeper water. But what I want to do for you guys is do like a kiddie pole fishing challenge. Let me know down below if you guys want to see that sometime. I'm really bummed I wasn't able to complete the Goodwill fishing challenge. I did catch a good amount of fish on absolutely everything besides that kiddie pole, man. But guys, I might have to bring the kiddie pole challenge back to the channel at maybe a little bit of a better spot than the one I was fishing today. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I had an absolute blast filming this video. If you guys made it all the way to the end, make sure to like. Also, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. And until the next fishing adventure, Fish Bump, I'm out of here.